I wanted to have a chat with you. It's a total different video and I don't know whether you're gonna like it or not, but um, I filmed, I decided to film it because um, I would like to shed some light to especially those women who are getting into uh, luxury handbag shopping and they have a lot of many other things to take care of and they don't know how to start on how to save for the uh, dream bag. Um, I just wanted to show how a handbag addict uh, who loves bags and loves uh, luxury shopping um, does control controls her money let's say right so I'm gonna show you how I budget um, my uh, purchases but also uh, what is the decision process um, for, you know for the the bag that is most suitable for me which bag I will add into my app uh, into my wish list uh, and all that so it's very simple. I promise you it's not going to be boring. It's going to be very simple and very fast. And I'm only going to show you two files. So the first one is just an Excel file with every month, uh, of course, because I'm in China and I have two accounts in China and Spain. I have two uh, currency types. For most of you, it will be only one. So it's even more simple. And uh, you just uh, input your net income. This is your, your take home uh, pay. So no taxes here. And uh, then, uh, you know, I would just input every month um, what is the, the expected amount. So I calculate a rough uh, yearly budget. And maybe later it would be, depending on the tax, it would be a little bit less or a little bit more, depends. So you will input all your income uh, here. So that means, for example, if you're a sales manager and you got a bonus, you will add your bonus here. Um, you know, any extra money that you get, you will just input in the income column. Now, um, regarding expenses, uh, you will see this is in a different color. And the reason is because for me, these are my must uh, must pay the most important expenses within my whole budget. So that's um, groceries, housing, utilities, transport, uh, electronics, my pets, of course, and IE, in Chinese, IE is the helper. Even if I'm unemployed, I count with the responsibility of taking care of this person who, you know, is working for me. So that's why for me it is uh, those are the mandatory costs that I have to pay, the most important. Of course, later on you will have your entertainment. Why my in Chinese means the eating out or when you order food, you know, and they bring it home. Um, you know, when you have celebration with your with your colleagues or with your friends, uh, any gifts, and this means uh, birthday gifts and uh, everything uh, you may expect. Home decor, so this means like, for example, I moved to a new home, so any IKEA shop, uh, shopping or any Zara home shopping, new bedding, anything I will add into this budget. Quality is everything for uh, transport, so any express courier that I have to uh, use, especially if I send some uh, a parcel back home or if I want to sell a handbag uh, and I want to send it to uh, the consignment um, so that's uh, that's the meaning of quality uh, vacations so I will plan my vacations this means also my trips to Spain if I'm going to go back home uh, how many trips uh, I will do per year my hobbies so for example I was very much this year into candle making and candle making is kind of expensive so you know especially when you're just starting because you need to buy a lot of things so, um, you know, everything that it's a hobby, I would just input the cost over there. Bank fees, if I do any transfer from my Chinese account to my Euro account, I will have, uh, you know, a bank fee cost. Uh, so I will add this in this column. Clothing, um, self-care. So for here is everything regarding beauty. So hair, makeup, uh, cosmetics. Uh, if I go to hairdresser, for example, education, any course like my Chinese course or uh, anything online uh, that I'm, if I'm taking a course, then 
I will just input there. Green card paperwork. This is because I am applying for my green card in China, so it's kind of a, it's a pretty expensive uh, procedure. So anything, any paperwork uh, that I have to do for my visa, then I would just add as a cost in, in this column. Subscriptions like iCloud uh, or any other subscription to music or anything like that. Then I have my expenses in Euro. This is what I pay from my Euro account. So for example, I will pay, um, this is a project I'm doing in my home. So we are refurbishing our family home. So every month I will add uh, money to be saved for this project. Uh, investment, this is the stock market. So this is uh, the money that every month I will, um, you know, I will use to invest. Uh, this is my Spain taxes. I only have to pay them uh, once per year. Um, and it's very little money, but still, um, you know, uh, I have to pay in euro. Uh, luxury shopping because most of my luxury shopping I do in Spain because uh, China is pretty expensive uh, now with the COVID of course I'm doing more shopping uh, in Shanghai but uh, most of my shopping will be in Euro in Spain so uh, that's why I'm, what's in this part of Euro and then Christmas Christmas is also um, a big part of my budget and you will add um, your savings uh, so your emergency fund, the money that you need to have as a cushion for anything that uh, may happen, for example, a pandemic. Um, and this I suggest to be around six months of your must have uh, expenses. So all these expenses, uh, six months of all, all of them, uh, that, that would be my emergency fund. Uh, then investing this is the uh, you know uh, stock market and here i don't have any debts thank god but those of you who have any debts or pay mortgage or everything then uh, you will also have a column with your mortgage or you know everything that is deducting it's 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 like an expense because you know it's money going away uh, but the reason why i wanted to show you like this is because of course, for example, you know, um, for example, if you have kids, you know they're gonna start a new course in September. So this means that, okay, you have to calculate a little bit the, um, the rough amount of what you're gonna need in September uh, for the school, the, the new material, and uh, everything that they may need. So this means depending on the amount and depending on how much money you can save um, uh, per month, you will need to split the amount in the uh, in the months ahead. Um, so in that way, whenever September comes, you will have the money ready to spend in that. Uh, for example, in my case, uh, for um, for luxury shopping, I have I know that my uh, birthday is in March, and most of my uh, overindulging uh, I do it in my birthday month. So this means that um, March and also Christmas, November and December or October, depending on the amount uh, that I want, they're gonna be where I need most of the money. So um, basically this is just a way to say, okay, I have a yearly view of my money. I know how much money I'm gonna have. I know how much expenses, uh, by the way, this is an eye opener because you really need to know how much money you're spending uh, in utilities, in you know, in electronics and all that. Uh, you really need control over everything that is leaving uh, your account. So all the money that it's uh, leaving your bank account, you should control. And it's a lot, a lot of times is an eye opener. And hey, I'm here to share with you my experience. I am a spender. Uh, so I'm totally not a saver, I'm not a finance expert, and I'm not someone who enjoys saving money. Uh, but the way that um, this budget, I've been doing budget for maybe three years now, and it has given me more money than uh, what I thought because I control my money much better and I have more money for many other things that before, you know, they just pay... 10 euro here, 15 there, and you don't realize where the money is living. So, um, so 
you know, from my point of view is I, you know, I'm not an expert and I know it sucks to have to having to do this, but I promise you that um, this is the way uh, to have control over, over your money and not let your money control you. Also, it gives you a lot of freedom because you can, you can be ready. You don't feel uh, that uh, feeling of panic because it's September and you don't have any money for your kids to buy new pencils and pens and all that. And you just feel anxious during the whole month uh, for that. So if you can plan a little bit ahead, then, uh, you know, you will reduce a lot of stress. So that's basically this whole part. Uh, you just need to control everything. Basically, this is very simple. Income minus uh, expenses. And from your expenses, which are your most important expenses. And uh, which is here, you can, you can find some room in the budget. Uh, some months you can say, okay, I'm not going to have every month hobbies, right? Or vacations. So you, you have a little room to play with it but with this you have to pay them straight every month you see i have goals these are my finance goals so it means how much money i target um what's going to be my emergency fund what's going to be my investing for, for the year my projects uh and any donations i'm going to do for the year so usually i decide my finance goals based on my income and my must-have expenses and then i calculate okay what is the percentage of money that i'm comfortable i'm com comfortable saving uh for the year and then with that amount that is my goal so that, that with those goals then i will have the room to you know spend more here spend less uh but always trying to reach uh my goals so first you decide on your finance financial goals and then you let these expenses uh you know you will spend less or more depending on those goals. But your goals in investing and saving are mandatory to hit, um, which means that you don't uh, get your money and then you spend it all and then whatever it's left, uh, you save. It's the opposite. So what you do is you get your money, you already know how much money you have to save every month, you take that money away, you invest it, whatever you want to do with it, but it's gone. And then you pay the rest of the bills. You pay your mandatory bills, of course. And then with the extra money, then you say, okay, so I don't have money this month for any home decor. So it's going to be a zero. And then every month uh, you have to calculate your net worth. Net worth, worth is everything you have in your bank account everything that you have invested in the stock market we could uh, argue that maybe your handbags could be an asset so um, that could be included in your net worth uh, minus the expenses for example if i have let's say 1000 euro in my bank account nothing else and i have 500 debt so my net worth is 500 this is everything i have right uh, then we make it more complicated. So, okay, I have 1,000 euro in my bank account and I have one Chanel bag. How much is the Chanel bag? 6,000 euro. Okay, so I have 7,000 euro. How much debt do I have? Okay, so I have 5,000 euro um, uh, debt. Okay, so the, the remainder is your net worth. Uh, so it means the reality of what you have. Many people will add also their house if, you know, if they have a mortgage, the value of their house because they can sell it uh, in case they would need it. Other people don't want to add the house. So this is a little bit personal, but you need to be a little bit honest uh, with yourself. And then um, eventually what you want is your net worth has to increase from January to December. Why? Because you cannot stay the same after one year of hard, hard work, you need to grow financially. Uh, so you cannot be same as you started in January. You, this means you lost one full year of hard work because you were just buying, uh, you know, spending your money and doing nothing, saving nothing. So in the end, you have nothing uh, and your net worth is nothing. So that's the reason why I like to include my net worth as well so that I can see uh, you know whether 
I'm, I'm spending too much and I have to slow down. Uh, so financial goals very important, net worth very important, and to know your expenses, mandatory expenses is also very important. Then something that I like to add, because I tell you I'm a handbag addict, um, I add the value of the handbags, handbags I sold and because usually um, I will, when I decide I'm over one handbag, it takes some time to sell it and I don't really have, um, uh, how can I say, I don't have a goal for that money. So I will add it here and until I decide, okay, with that money, I'm going to invest it into you know, more projects or more donations or more sharing or more gifts or whatever. I like to know how much money I get for the bag. And I left this one for you to see because this is, uh, and this is why it's so important to do this kind of exercise because it's really eye opening. You could, I do this with handbags only. I could do that with all my luxury items uh, like jewelry and you know, SOGs and all that, but I don't, I only take my handbags, which is, they are the, the biggest chunk of money. And, uh, you know, I just add the money I paid. This is in Euro. I add the money I paid, or if they, I bought it um, second hand, I would just input the money that I paid second hand and I get the total. This is not even my whole collection uh, because I added new bags. Um, and you see the amount and when I see this amount I just want to say this is crazy it's so much money and looking at that figure is what keeps me grounded and what keeps me uh, to to thinking that I cannot it cannot continue to grow because it's just mental it's too much money right so uh, it is what pushes me to analyze okay what are the bags that i really enjoy and what are the bags that um i have to let go why it's not even because i need the money it's just because that amount is mental it's, it's crazy right uh it's just too much money it you know there's just material things so um that's why i think it's so important that every one of you make this exercise and it sucks because you need to go back and you know look at everything you paid uh, but once you see it and you see the final figure it's like oh my god <laughs> you know uh, that kind of thing i'm going to show you my other way uh, my other file let's say that i use uh, this is all the pictures that i took uh, from my collection items um, that I currently own and by own means that maybe I send them to consignment to sell but they're still mine because they're still not sold uh, so I still have them uh, as my property right and I will try to um, you know in this file I just try to uh, put them in little pictures uh, the way that you know I would use them for example right like maybe more formal or top handle, you know, uh, work bags. Um, I need to re or to update this file because um, it's been a while. I don't I don't do this exercise, uh, but you have to do it from time to time. Then I have another PPT, another slide, which is the bags that I decided I'm not gonna keep, and the bags that are in the maybe, and the bags that are sold. So I sold my Celine. Uh, I believe this one uh, was called um, Cavas. I sold my Trendy um, and uh, actually I sold the gray because I wanted uh, the black one and I could not justify having two. I sold my Birkin uh, simply because I think I'm not a Birkin or a Kelly girl. Um, the maybe of this is because I bought these ones uh, in Spain, so I have not seen them yet. Uh, my sister picked them up and they look very nice, but um, uh, I don't know whether I made the right decision with those pieces. So they are in my maybe. 
and then these are the notes. Uh, some of them already sent to consignment and others they're still with me because actually for example my Evelyn one day is a no and another day is a maybe um, so so yeah uh, sometimes I cannot even make up my mind but you know it's nice to play around because you don't have to make the final decision you know uh, you need time to to think about it then I have another slide with my wish list and it doesn't mean that I want everything in here it means that things that are in my mind so I know that I want a Gabby BB I don't know whether I want it in a toppy color or in the emerald color um, I also would love the reason why I, I sold or I'm trying to sell my um, navy selling classic uh, is because uh, I really want the tan version um, because I love it much more but then I saw the um, Rajan uh, BB in this Barania uh, color and it was super nice and then I ha I was doubting because you know this one has to handle and this one does not and then I was thinking damn you know I cannot get both because they're the same color you know very similar this one I can also cross body so that's the reason why sometimes I will add more pictures but it doesn't mean that I have everything in my wish list it's just that um, I'm considering it there are items that are, are, are um, you know in my mind I always have Chanel classics in my wish list then this would be uh, my collection without the items that I that I want to sell let's say so this is like for me to say okay imagine all those items you said maybe and no uh, and sold they're all gone so all the items in this PPT uh, are all gone right so uh, what, what would my collection look like and then I would add my wish list uh, items right so this four slide is my current collection minus the items that I don't want or that I'm thinking that I will not want and plus uh, the wish list items and then uh, I can play around and order it by color you could also do it by back style like top handle or by versatility so date nights wedding special occasions or work bags and all that but it helps you to realize what what handbag styles you like the most and what colors um, and you know whenever you have a wish list item uh, what is the functionality or the value that they will add into your collection in terms of color you see i'm a pretty neutral color so it has to be beige light beige gray blue navy nude light pink you know uh tan color i love and then black and i have a tweet and I am experimenting uh, with my Burberry in green that I love and maybe I would get uh, the Gabby BB in emerald green uh, because it's pretty different to the Mulberry this one's bigger uh, this one's smaller and uh, or maybe I will get it in this toppy color right so here you see it's I was thinking about the classic or uh, the Rajan and then here when I see them together I can easily decide okay how does it look um, maybe I have too many top handles so the classic is okay or maybe the reason why I like top handles is because if I get this back I'm gonna um, I'm gonna miss the top handle and I already have a classic in uh, you know for daytime because this, this would be for daytime right uh, things like that this is the reason why it's very helpful to see in pictures what you have what you want and what you you're considering selling because uh, it's very easy for you to know what kind of bag you like the most and what colors you have and uh, you know what items would bring some new value into your collection uh, so for me, for example, if I got the, the Gabby BB in emerald green, 
um i wouldn't be repeating bags uh, because you know i don't have much color in my in my collection um maybe i could wait for a gabby in um burgundy color or any other color to add even more versatility into my collection uh, so sometimes it's about keeping uh, true to your style and keeping the same colors and the same kind of bags and other times you feel like it's time to experiment uh, but if you realize i started experimenting with color with um mulberry bag which is not as expensive as a moina or a chanel or you know uh, any other any other um, higher end brand um, so always experiment with color with a lower price uh, handbag and always buy the color that you love not just just because you feel that you need a pop of color right so you see I don't have any uh, crazy colors everything is pretty muted uh, but I love all my bags uh, here in in this slide uh, many of the bags um, I have it in Spain um others i have it here in shanghai so my collection is splitted um but yeah just let me know if you would be interested in uh, me doing a handbag collection of the items that i have in shanghai let me know in the comments so basically um yeah you will see that i i do a lot of purging and you're gonna you're gonna see many bags that i liked and i really enjoyed and you're gonna tell me about why why did you sell them sometimes it's because um you know i try to keep my sanity and when i see this number i just freak out and then i say oh my god so many things going on in the world and you know i'm becoming too shallow so as a handbag addict a handbag lover and you know handbags are my things um i try to keep balance and you have to do this exercise you need to have control over your finances because at the end of the day the most important thing is to be able to enjoy vacations with the people around you, the people that you love, is to be able to do gifts to the people that you care about, uh, to have Christmas and not feeling that you cannot be generous because most of the year you have been spending money on yourself. Um, so uh, those those two files, uh, the PPT and uh, the Excel file for my budget uh, is what I do and what i keep doing and visually it's very nice to see oh i want to buy for example a chanel i know i don't know uh, the new season is coming and i fell in love with the new brown color the new caramel color okay so i will want the chanel classic flap and then you will input okay when is the collection coming okay june 10th okay so i just put um uh, i cannot see here luxury shopping so okay so it's in june so in june or in may i have to have six thousand euro or whatever the price of the bag right or maybe i have three thousand this month three thousand this other month or maybe depending on your on your income you're gonna have you know you're gonna need longer time to pay for the bag so you just you just play around and then maybe you didn't you didn't expect this purchase because whatever reason then you have to reduce that value into the other parts of the spending so maybe you have to say no to clothing or you have to reduce your entertainment budget every month in order to reach the target uh, to you know to be able to purchase that back and this is very simple we cannot have everything and um, it's okay uh, because it helps you to really understand what you really really need and what you you really enjoy and um, you know when you are budgeting and when you are saving money to reach a goal which is you know buying something that you that gives you joy it feels so much better than you know when you go ahead 
and you know go to Hermes you will see many videos on YouTube and actually that's the reason why I'm opening up and telling you how I do it because I see so many unboxings and I see uh, so many uh, young girls who are buying going into Hermes and then the essay says oh yeah I have a handbag for you and they're like oh my god I was not expecting this um, this purchase and then they just go ahead and you know use their credit card and they just buy the Birkin and I don't think this is um, this is the right way to 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 do um, of course everyone is free to do whatever they want with their money but what I mean is I don't want to promote that in my channel um, and I just want to be 100% transparent and tell you this is how I do it uh, even I cannot have it all you know I have to say things uh, I have to to say yes to some things and no to others in order to uh, be able to afford my bags I buy my handbags uh, by myself I don't have a sugar daddy I don't have uh, parents who are just giving me money um, you know, so I have to be sensitive with my own hard earned money. It gives you a lot of freedom and a lot of independence to be able to do that and to be able to plan for your future and to let your net worth grow and uh, be responsible, be a responsible uh, shopper and um, do not just turn into luxury items like they are fast fashion because they are not they are something very exclusive and something that you cannot um you know you cannot have uh every five minutes um so yeah i hope this uh video was not too boring uh, i know it's very different to what i actually what i usually do um but yeah i just wanted to tell you uh, to all the women out there, uh, please be sensitive with your money. I'm telling you, your retirement is, is very much more important than keeping up with the Jones. Uh, don't try to fit in any club. You, you know, I just, I just want to empower women without them feeling that they need to follow my channel and keep buying all the bags that I show. Or I don't want any women looking at my videos and feeling less of a woman or less accomplished because uh, they're not able to afford uh, those items. Um, they are not important, they are material things and in the end it's just a choice uh, so they say that your life is the the sum of all your choices right and this is when you have to choose what is what what are your priorities so i just wanted to share that oh Jenju is also very excited <laughs> so i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you liked it um and uh, i hope this is useful to anyone i will see you in my next one Bye-bye.